Good morning. I'm in Fangossen and I'm with Phil, the Deputy Chairman of the Fangossen Railway Trust. Phil, good morning to good you. Good morning. What's the situation, please, with, with the railway line as it stands now? As it stands at the moment, um, as everybody knows, we went into administration on the 1st of March. Um, the Trust, with the aid of donations that the public have given us, have managed to buy the goodwill, the rights that the administrator was selling, which includes websites and right. domain names and all the computer records. Um, we've now got to the stage where there's going to be an auction of PLC assets on the 12th. Mm -hmm. um, we're hoping to buy some of the assets. We don't need all of them mm -hmm. because we're never going to be a big, huge operation again. We've got to learn to walk before we can run. Um, and that will also save us money on maintenance and insurance and everything else. Um, and again, the public are now donating to a carriage appeal for us to buy some of the carriages. All oh, right. Um, we're, when we first took over, it was a case of could we save the railway? Mm -hmm. We have saved the railway. It's just a matter of time now until we can get full control Mm -hmm. um, we can get the legal paperwork done because the SMS to operate the trains has got to be rewritten. Right. Different organisation running it. Yeah. Now. Um, I, so am, we, I am aware though, Phil, that the Welsh Assembly Government did give your railway some money. Yes. But I'm also very much aware that there are other railways in England that also receive money from the UK Government and the two ways of financing are very different. Can you perhaps share that? Yes, yeah. the Welsh Government have given us two grants. The maximum they pay out is 160,000. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had two grants of over 140. Right. Which has helped us immensely. But it wouldn't save the railway. Mm -hmm. um, because in England, they base it on percentage of turnover. Right. And whereas here, we turn over about two million a year. Yes. But I'll give you a couple of examples. The North Yorkshire Moors Railway turns over seven, seven and a half. Mm -hmm. They got 1.4 million off the English government. Mm -hmm. The Seven Valley turns over five to six. They got 986,000, I think. Right, right. Um, you know, so that's the big difference. So uh, I mean, it wasn't completely COVID that tipped us over the edge, mm -hmm. but it was a big contrary fact. And it's, it's, we, as I say, I'm not knocking what they've given them, but we could have done with more. With more, absolutely. The, the public have been absolutely wonderful. We've had over £80,000 donated to us right. since right. March. Um, and we need, and it, at the moment, without even running, it's costing us £12,000 a month with insurance and utilities. Yes. And so it's still a hefty sum. It's do, still you, do you believe the future, though, is bright or at least you're going to survive? Yeah, we, we will survive. We're hoping to reopen in July or August. Right, that's good news. That's with good news. The, the, the main thing that's holding us back once the sale is done is getting the legal paperwork right and getting the agreement of the ORR to let us run. Mm -hmm. And the fact that nothing's moved for months and months and months, there's an awful lot of right. engineering work to be done. Well, and uh, we've got to do it mostly with volunteers because we can't afford to employ many people. Well, Phil, thank you for that. At least you've got the support of the public. Yes. And, and you've had some support from the Welsh Assembly Government. Well, and we're waiting this auction, which is on when, did you say? Uh, Wednesday the 12th. Wednesday the 12th. Well, yeah. if someone's willing to go and bid and get as high a price as possible, do go along. Phil, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. And here, once again, another prime example of where businesses actually are worse off under a Welsh Assembly Government compared with a UK Government. Phil has mentioned that he's extremely grateful and rightly so to have received the support that he has, but had his 
railway been under the control or influence or support of the UK government, then the amount of money that he would have received would be far greater. And he would not have had to rely to such an extent on good-natured public support to keep the railway from failing. Vote abolish on May the 6th. Let's get rid of an unnecessary tier of politicians so that we can save Wales and save the Union.